Jan, como esta que yo la hat? I hope you've been enjoying my videos last few days. I've been doing a lot of reaction videos because Bawal Lumabas. There's still a lockdown in Manila, so I'm staying home, staying safe, and I'm getting some great videos for you. Today we are gonna look at 15 amazing places to visit in Vigan. All of you know that this is an amazing city and I really want to go there as soon as the lockdown is over. So please leave me a comment and tell me are these really the best places to visit in Vigan. For people venturing to the northern Luzon of the Philippines, Vigan City, the capital of Alakasar, and a declared UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a must-visit destination. The place is popular for its well-preserved old streets, wow. and it is home to great food and delicacies, wow. historical attractions, natural wonders and hospitable and friendly locals. Before we begin... Wow, it looks so good already. I see those old buildings, I see the sea, you know. I'm really excited about this. I think this is gonna be a great place to visit. Here's a list of 15 must-visit tourist spots when visiting the beautiful city of Vigan in Alakasar. Okay, so these are the 15 places you should visit when you go to Vigan. And I mean, this looks already amazing to me. So this is in Ilocos Sur. Mindoro Beach of Vigan. Okay. The Mindoro Beach is located just 5 kilometers east of the town proper of Vigan. All right. Unlike other beaches facing the China Sea, which are mostly white sand, the beach is covered by black but smooth and fine wow, sand. Wow, look at that. Mindoro Beach is absolutely a good place for nice. relaxation and best spot to nice, watch the gorgeous nice. sunset. Yes. Wow. Did you see the sunset there? So this is going to be the same. Yeah, well, it's just like watching from Manila Bay, but of course it's going to look different because Manila Bay sunset looks amazing because of the bay and the heat and everything. No? So this is going to be a different sunset again, but of course it's looking absolutely amazing. No? And it's just only five kilometers from the city of Vigan, so it'd be great to go out to that black sand beach they were talking about. Wow, look at that. Oh my god, look at that. Balwarta Resort and Mini Zoo. Balwarta. Another popular okay. attraction in Vigan is the Balwarta so, Resort and Mini Zoo. Okay. This is a good destination for kids oh, and this the whole zoo, family huh? to enjoy the holidays and take selfies nice. with the animals, especially with this gigantic dinosaur replica. <laughs> the best thing about the place is it's open to the public and admission okay. is free. Really? Wow. Admission is free. That's even better. So there would be no excuse to bring the kids to the zoo. Wow! Look at them. It's so beautiful. Hidden Garden. Hidden Garden. Okay. When craving for an Ilocano dish, Hidden Garden is the place to be. In the middle ah, of so the it's garden, a restaurant or something. Surrounded by okay. beautiful plants and wow. trees with must try look Ilocano at foods at that. affordable prices. This is a must visit place when you want to experience nature while munching great food. Wow! 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 Looks amazing, huh, guys? No. It's nothing better than sitting in a Banao garden Bridge. like that, no? Banoang Bridge. Carino Bridge, also called Banaoang Bridge, okay. was named after the sixth president of the Philippines, Elpidio Carino. This is an iconic symbol of Alakasar and is okay. also considered as one of the country's most beautiful bridges. It's worth a stop if it you looks love nice. to take pictures. Yeah, look at the spectacular, look at the river, huh? Morning. Visiting the Banaoang Bridge is absolutely an awesome experience. Yeah. It looks so good. I mean, just look at the view with the mountains on each side and the river in the middle there. Wow. I'm definitely going to vegan when the lockdown is over. So please leave me a comment below. Tell me what places should I visit when I go to vegan and what places should I visit on the way to vegan? Because I am definitely going to vegan. Ganda talaga, no? Grabe. Buntai Church Bell Buntai Tower. Church Bell Tower. Ah, this yeah. is a nice stop when That's visiting Vigan in Alakasar. Built That's the famous one, yeah. It served as the town's watchtower before being turned wow. into a bell tower by the nearby church. Never leave Buntai Alakasar without climbing up the bell tower where you will be treated with a breathtaking view of the church from Oh the my god. Wow. That's astonishing. I mean, everything there just looks amazing. Wow. I've never been to Ilocosur, so I'm actually excited about this. Everything just looks so beautiful, huh? Augustine Parish Church. St. Augustine Parish also Church. Also known as Buntai Church. Okay. The St. Augustine Parish Church is one of the oldest in the Ilocos region, okay. which was established in 1590. Wow, that's a long time ago. wars and natural disasters throughout the centuries, which makes mm, it an Ganda. important historical destination in Ilocosur. Wow. 
Hagbrenayan Jar Factory. Hagbrenayan Jar Factory? This is one of the most Anion. visited in the city of Vegan that you shouldn't miss when in Alakasar. Really? Visiting the place to watch the pottery works and being able to try it is absolutely an incredible experience here. Oh, so they're making the jars out of clay. I remember in school, not the... I remember when we were in school, we did this, huh? We got this clay and it was on that spinning wheel, right? And we had to make the jars like that. And here up the So that could be exciting to go up and try to visit the jar factory at, uh, in Iloko Sur. I didn't even know we had one like that. That's, a, that's amazing. See, I learned something new again. I hope you also learn something new from my videos. Plaza Burgos. Plaza Burgos. Plaza okay. Burgos is one of the two major plazas in Vegan City, which was built to remember one of the three nice. Filipino martyr priests, Father yes. Jose P. Burgos. Right. Although this is a public area, the place is well maintained. Nice. Empanada is the best in Vegan City and a must try when visiting Plaza Burgos. Oh, looks good. Wow, yeah, so of course, you know already that was one of the three priests who were massacred by the Spanish. That's uh, Father Burgos. So he's from uh, from Ilocos, I guess. And um, I mean, the empanada looked nice. Who wouldn't like to go on a road trip up to Vigan, huh? Maybe I can meet some of you guys in Vigan next time when I go there. House. Father Burgos House. This museum is the ancestral house and birthplace oh, okay. of Father Jose Burgos. Okay. It is one of the notable historic structures of Vigan that houses the memorabilia of Father Burgos and his family. Nice. You will definitely enjoy this place if you love history. Whoa. That's a big house, huh? Ganda talaga, no? Sikia Mansion. Sikia Mansion. Oh, the they're Sikia from... Sikia Mansion served as the home of the late okay. president Pidio Carino and his family. They're the from Iloko, huh? mansion was built in 1830 and was given as a dowry wow. when President Carino married the descendant of the Sikia family. The Sikia family, that's also a famous old Chinese family, right? Trading family here in the Philippines. Very rich. So they came from Vigan. I had no idea, huh? Okay, so Carino also lived up there and is also from Vigan, huh? I had no idea. Wow, did you see the house of Father Burgos and the house that they lived in here? Absolutely amazing old houses. It's Wow, I wish we had some more of those here in Manila, no? I mean, it could be a great tourist attraction as well, huh? Maybe we could, you know, restore some of those old houses that are still here in Manila. I know there are some in the Malade or Mida area that I've seen. And of course, in other areas like maybe Binondo or somewhere around there. This old mansion was preserved and well kept. So new generations can still look back on how Filipinos used to live. Wow. This place is certainly well worth a visit. Vegan Heritage Village. Vegan Heritage Village. The city Village. of Vegan has been listed okay. as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO wow. because of its Hispanic colonial character, which That's is nice. very evident in Vegan Heritage Village. This old Spanish colonial town is surrounded by lovely and friendly people that makes the place even perfect. Visiting Vegan Heritage Village will absolutely be one of the most unforgettable experiences yes, when traveling to Vegan. Yes, it looks so vegan. amazing. Grabe. Look at the buildings. Look at those old, old places. I love things like this. Crisologo Museum. Crisologo. In October Crisologo. 1970, Congressman Floro Crisologo was inside yeah. the St. Paul's Cathedral when he was shot by an unidentified gunman. Oh, really? To honor him, their century-old family mansion was converted into a museum. Mm, Crisologo okay. Museum is a must-see for all foreign and local travelers. Wow, it looks it amazing again. Look at that. interesting artifacts and great information Lovely. about the way of life in vegan during the 60s to 70s. It's the governor's car. Unbelievable. How come I haven't visited Vegan yet? This is just up my alley, you know? I love something. I like the history. You guys know that from my channel already. Love the old history. I love old places like this. Wow, I need to go to Vegan when the lockdown is over. So please, everybody, stay home so we can get rid of this COVID and we can all be safe again and we can go out and we can all go up to Vegan and visit it. St. Paul Metropolitan this Cathedral. This cathedral in Vigan Alakasar is also known as the Vigan Cathedral. St. Paul Metropolitan Cathedral is huge and have a great architectural design Looks from the inside so and outside. Definitely another worth visiting attraction when in Vigan City. Yes. It looks absolutely astonishing. Plaza Salcedo. Plaza Salcedo. In front of the St. Paul Cathedral is Plaza Salcedo. 
Ah, this okay. Nothing but a plaza with a fountain in the morning. Nice but fountain. Into an awesome attraction at night when the musical fountain starts dancing. I the dancing really? fountain at Plaza Salcedo is absolutely one wow, of the best look at things that. you should never miss in Alakasur. I had no idea they had a dancing fountain there. I thought it was only here in Manila, huh? Calle Crisologo. This 15th century Spanish oh my God. situated inside the vegan heritage village is considered to be one of the heritage sites in the Philippines, and it's also one of the most popular historical tourist spots in vegan Alakasur. Its history dates back centuries ago, and it will take you back to the Filipino Spanish yeah. colonial era. Calle Crisologo is a beautifully preserved place of history where you can shop for souvenirs and have a taste of vegan's great food. Wow! This lo it looks like you're back in uh, Spain, you know, or maybe in South America or something like that. What do you think about this beautiful Unbelievable. historic city of Unbelievable. Vegan? Tell us on the comments below okay. and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe Thank to their for channel, watching. huh? Unbelievable. I'm so amazed at how vegan looks. I had no idea it was that beautiful. I I know people have always told me to go to Vigan because it's a beautiful old city. It's a really um, it's a Spanish colonial city and the buildings are basically preserved. So it looks like 100, 200 years ago. And I have to say, after seeing this video, I really want to go to Vigan right now. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the 15 best places to visit when you are in Vigan. And I will come up with a lot of new videos in the next few days. So keep watching my channel. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button and of course the bell button so you'll be notified when we have new videos for you.